more houses are on the market, but it's still not enough to meet the buyer demand that's out there. We've seen interest rates coming down and we have seen really good progress with the efforts to curb inflation. Military PCS season just right around the corner though. So demand is growing, not slowing. If your current house does not fit your needs or your lifestyle, then it's the perfect time to discuss what would and how to maximize your power in this market as a buyer, as a seller, or both. So breaking down the numbers of what we saw over the last seven days, this is for residential resale sales only. This is not for new construction and it's not for distressed properties. So this is to really just give you an idea of what's happening in our current market in Southern Maryland, Charles, Calvert, and St. Mary's counties over the last seven days. We saw 77 new listings, which is up from the 65 we saw last week. Coming soon, properties dropped a little though. We had 33 properties uploaded into the MLS and coming soon status, which is down from the 45 we saw the week before. 120 houses went under contract though, so that's awesome, up from 96. We saw 48 price decreases over the last seven days, which falls right in the middle of the 52 we saw the week before and the 44 we saw the week before that, so hopefully we're leveling out there. Um, we'll keep a watch on it. 61 properties sold over the last seven days, and that is down slightly from the 66 we saw on the last two updates. In my first update of the year, we had a median price across Southern Maryland of 355,000, and that rose substantially with the last update to 390,000, um, 365,000 as the median sale price for the last seven days. So down six and a half percent from the previous week, but it's still up about 3% from the week before that. Median days on market, meaning time to get under contract had dropped from 29 to 21 on the last update. Well, over the last seven days, we're back at 29 days. So 29 days to get a contract um, when you go on the market. So if you remember last time, Calvert had seen a huge jump in median sale price. Um, we had another huge jump in median sale price this week for Calvert. Last update, we saw median sale price rise over 100,000 um, from 3.99 to 4.25. And over the last seven days, Calvert had a median sale price of 510,000. Days on market for those sales increased a lot though. Um, we had seen it go from 25 days on market down to 14 and median days on market was 45 for the closings this week. So on average property sold for 97.2% of their original list price, which is just right about in the middle of where we've been. So down a little bit from the 98.5% we saw on the last update, but up a little bit from the update before that where it had been at 90. 95.7%. So those week to week changes can seem dramatic, but we watch things overall, you know, keeping track of things week by week, but then also looking month to month, cumulatively following what's happening. In Charles County, median days on market stayed the same 23 days to get under contract. Median sale price was down though to 360,000. Last time it had jumped up to 399.5. Um, but the time before that, it was at 370,000. So we're down just a little bit from that at 360,000. Still, property sold for 97.7% of their original list price, which is right in the middle of the 98.5% we saw last time and the 96.4% um, from the time before that. St. Mary's leveled out a bit. Our last update, we've seen the median sale price drop um, substantially from 369.9 down to 314. And um, we were at 340,000 this week. So that's good. That's right in the middle there. Days on market had increased from 37 to 47. Um, and we were back down to 36 this week. And properties sold for 95.2% of their original list price, which is down from the 96.6% from the last update, but in line with where it had been before that, which was 95.4%.
All right, guys, so that's your market update. And as always, if you have any specific questions, reach out. All right, until next time, bye.